Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Friday, May 18th. Coming at you at the European Open. Let's see what we got on tap here today. Let's go to Euro Yen, which ended up being a fail yesterday, surprisingly. But such is life. Uh, we clipped this thing up at 85 here. I don't know why we're here. I mean, obviously it's dollar yen driven, but looks like we might try through the figure here first off in Europe. No trade here for us, but got cut there. Euro dollar, we're still short. We got a pretty decent average. Uh, we still like this thing down bit of a smaller range yesterday in the end. Uh, we're going to be careful with this, of course, as we are with everything. We're going to cut above 40, so even if we cut, um, we'll make some money off of it. Let's look at Dollar Czar. We talked about this thing uh, breaking 1272 today. We got what we wanted yesterday. We are still core long. We gotta overcome 1265 and then 1272. I imagine you can add through 1265 because once we're through 1265, 1272 will be hard to resist. This happens to be the 200-day moving average as well. So there's a confluence of attraction up there. Ideally, for the czar to work, we want equities to, to lean left. Very quiet day so far, 1526 today. Yesterday was 1132. This thing's just trying to decide where to go. Um, we'll only use it as a risk on, risk off proxy today. And if it's leaning left or if it's going left hard, then we'll take a bigger swing at this dollar rand. Uh, if it's going right and it just looks like I don't know, the market's running stops, or we will take less of a bigger swing in uh, dollar rand. What else is out there? Cable hanging around the bottom of things. 136.50 is of interest for us. Seems far away, but 60 points in cable, you never know. Dollar CAD, CPI and retail sales today coming out of Canada. This is going to be a volatile day in, in, uh, in, in Canada. 127.50 is the big sort of bull bear pivot. I like it even more because we jammed up to 128.50 today already. So anyone who is short is really either cut or feeling the pain. Crude. Perfect doji yesterday. I like them apples. We all have to watch 7110 now. Hard to trade crude on the downside with all of these sanctions and BS and whatnot, but the awkward side is the one that usually pays, although I'm no crude expert and I don't have a very good track record of making money in crude. Um, Let's watch this, right? And like all good candlestick watchers, this moment of indecision yesterday makes the downside important, especially because we're on a big uptrend, but it also makes the upside equally important. So if 72.30 is trading and CPI comes in hot, that dollar CAD looks pretty good. On the other side of things, if 7110 is trading, you want to stay away from 127.50. What else? L quickly on the uh, cryptos, a lot of negative uh, news flow on Bitcoin this week. We've come off about 20%. We're still not in the buy zone. Uh, 
6200, 5200, we accumulate and then we try and sell rallies 90% of that position to get our averages down below 3000. So nothing to see there, but just sideways motions now. I mean, on the bigger, bigger picture, 12,000 and 5,900 are the keys. It'll be very, very twitchy below 5,000. So prepare yourself mentally for that. If you're holding core longs, um, could happen. But no trade here today focus mainly on CAD. We're going to be watching that crude chart. And dollars are. Good luck, people. I will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.